Like probably my last boxing video for the night is the Boxing Clinic of Morris. Your boy CJ Goodfellow. One time for the one time. Y'all know what it is. We grind a shot to the whole LDBC, all right? And um, just want to address this real quick. Um, you see Earl Spence is about to fight Mikey Garcia. Just talked about the video a minute ago. And you still got fans saying, oh, why, why don't Earl Spence call out Terrence Crawford? I mean, why don't Earl Spence call out Terrence Crawford? You know what I'm saying? Why he ain't fighting Terrence Crawford? Why he don't mention Terrence Crawford? And fans already know what the business is, especially fan hardcore fans. They already know what it is, man. I just I find it fascinating that every time, you know, uh, something comes up with a top ranked fighter, all right, a, a fight that comes up, a good good ass fight that comes up, you, you don't ne never see it happen. You know what I'm saying? It ain't that you don't never see it happen. I mean, people continue to ask why, why, why is it not happening? They usually put the pressure on a premier box champion fighter. Like why, 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 why Floyd ain't fighting Pacquiao? You know, or why, 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 why this ain't happening, or you know what the usual. And fans already know. I mean, Crawford is gonna go probably ahead and fight Jose Benavidez and then Carlos Adamas and guys of that nature. And people still gonna be blaming Earl Spence. Why he fight Mikey Garcia? Why he fight Danny Sean, Danny Sean, the Sean Porter winner? Why he going ahead to fight Keith Thurman? Why he collecting all these belts? People still gonna put the onus and put the blame on on Earl Spence because he's a premier boxing champion fighter. And that's where the grunt of the blame comes on. A lot of the fans that come on comes on to the PBC fighter. No matter how many how many times Bob Aram did lied and hoodwinked the fans, the original Eddie Hearn, that do it better, you know. No matter how many times he lied and hoodwinked the fans and how many times it's been debunked that he's lying, his fighters never take the lion's share of the blame because he basically owns the Boxing Writers of America. He gives them luncheons. He flies them there and there. And for the hardcore boxing fans that actually really know the game, and, it, and it's, it's a shame. It's a shame that they continue to to put the blame on the other side that ain't did nothing but gave you great fights. You know, instead of put the blame on, on in-house top rank. You know what I'm saying? And they know why Crawford, why Earl Spence is not going to be mentioning Crawford. What's the point? You know that fight not going to happen. No time soon. It may never happen. I mean, top rankers have fights. Bob Arum to have fights under his own banner that people wanted to see. That never happened. Gamboa versus Juan Juan Lopez. People wanted to see that. He he didn't make that fight happen. You know what I'm saying? He didn't make Floyd versus Oscar De La Hoya happen. You know what I'm saying? He didn't deliver. He didn't deliver uh, Shane Mosley for, for for Floyd. I'm not sure if Shane was with top rank, but he didn't make that fight happen for Floyd. It's plenty of fights that. That could have been made under his banner or he could have made with somebody else. That never happened. It never happened. He lets Lomachenko fight who he wants to fight, but he not let Terrence, he don't let Terrence Crawford fight who he wanna fight. You know what I'm saying? And they already know and people already know that. So that that question keeps coming up. Oh, why Earl don't mention Terrence? Because they know the business side of it. They know what Bob Brown wants some BS. You know what I'm saying? They know right now. That Crawford is going, and I'm going to be protected. I'm just going to say it like that. And I ain't saying that he can't handle his own self. But right now, he's the ones that's that's handcuffed in a terrible contract. He's been fought about. He didn't fought about 15, 16 fights with Top Rank. You ain't heard about him re up, signing up yet. He's the one that's stuck in that contract. He's the one after every fight begging Bob Arum and Bob Arum shutting him down. Like when he called out Keith Thurman, he's like, I don't know why he called out Keith Thurman. That's what Bob said. Keith Thurman injured, but Bud need to shut up. That's basically what he said. And they have to beat Jeff Horn. Hey, 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 Bob, man. I could, I could fight them. God, come on, Bob. I, I'm ready. I'm ready. He's begging Bob Aram when he should be calling out fighters that he should be able to make. And somebody need to get the memo to cuz that Bob Aram works for you. You don't work for Bob Aram. That's what these fighters forget. These promoters work for you. Not the other way around. But if a guy really wanted to fight bad enough, they can go get that fight, man. Seriously. But like I told you, dude, Terrence Crawford don't want, want that fight bad enough. Well, he probably do, but Bob Arum ain't going to let him because he got his old contract all hot-wired around, around the way he wanted to be hot-wired around. So, at the end of the day, I'm just tired of people bringing up that question. Y'all know what it is, man. Y'all know it's Bob Arum. He don't want to send old boy across the gun line. And when you go across the top rank gun line, you know he ain't going to get no fair shake. You know what I'm saying? But it is what it is, man. Now, I don't believe we're going to see this fight happen while Bob Arum is breathing right now. But I could be wrong. You know what I'm saying? But when they get tired of... Uh, uh, Terrence Crawford, bum bashing at the bum bash at the bum bash, then you might see them come to the table and try to make something happen because that's what happened with Pacquiao. His numbers dipped. People got tired of it. But, you know, while Crawford's fighting on ESPN, his numbers should still be going up to a certain point. But it's the Clinic and more. Check the links in for the description of Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, our podcast link, and also our new college sports page as well. 
All that information is in the description. Shout out to everybody that's messing with me. That subscribe to TBC and more. If you haven't, go ahead and subscribe. Hit the bell icon. Won't miss another video or live stream. Y'all know what the business is. One time for the one time. We grinding. Got two more videos for the day. At least that's what I plan on doing. Y'all be on the lookout for them. It's going to be two special videos and a new installment coming. We gone.